Okay. I I bet he will. Wonder how happy or not happy they are gonna be with me killing this griffin for them. What the hell is this? Grain. Roy. Close enough. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I I didn't know. So a fool. Damn it! You never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Jeez. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! <laughs> what? Uh, no more Captain Nice Guy? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! A moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Oh, I, uh, I killed the griffin. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. <laughs> halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Uh, oh, hey, look, another tutorial, uh, which we've talked about before, this, this in particular. Some dialogues demand you make a quick decision. Choose your reply before the time runs out. I am going to just quickly explain my decision here before I hit space and hit it. I'm going to take the coin because it, it falls under our rule of, you know, we get paid for a job that we do, right? We, I mean, we killed the griffin. We did our job. Let's, let's get paid for it. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, that poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's just check our journal real quick. Uh, Lilac and Gooseberries, that's our main quest. Collect them all, that's not our main quest, and we've completed everything else. So, the music indicates, <laughs> and the spazzy doors, that it's time to go back uh, and turn on our main quest. Now that we, oh, I, I have leveled up. Oops, okay. Not escape, what am I thinking? I have four points. Oi, oi vey. I don't know actually what I want to put my points into. What to level four? I mean, that's that's just good. What? Uh, the magic trap isn't bad. I guess upgrading the fire wouldn't be bad. Like there's there's a lot of options that I have here. I actually wouldn't mind this. Fast attack damage increased by five percent. I mean, I have four points. I know I was debating putting my points otherwhere, but or other in other places, but. I mean, I feel like, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I could upgrade my oils. So, yeah, we could do that. Hold on. Hey, I know I have four points. Thank you. It's like I'm spamming right click. I wasn't doing it. Yeah, and uh, when this pops up, when we level here in a second, I will be able to put the uh, mutagen in with it fast travel and I want to go down here should I check the vendor I don't know how much gold I actually got from him so yeah we can check the vendor let's just check my inventory real quick in fact inventory thank you not a lot of money that says itself for a lot but not not to most vendors and I don't have the horse blinders, but I don't really need the horse blinders, honestly. Let's just do the main quest. We'll come back here and get the DLC armor as we go, of course. What's, uh, is he in here? Hey, Ar Vesemir. What's up, buddy? Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Hmm. I think then it's time to go. 
time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. Now buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. I would like to, actually. Just be on my way. Keep the peace. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my go. to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Jeez. Whoa, hey. Hey. Calm down. Oh, crap, I'm gonna get involved. Recognize this medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Crap. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I don't want to kill them. Certain, maybe there's another way to go about this. I don't think there is. I think I just have to kill these guys. Whoa. Come at me, bro. Get wrecked. I leveled up. It's dark. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Man. That, that look of horror on her face. It's tough. This isn't good. After all, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Oh, sup, girl? Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Uh... Why Vizima? No, what's the rush? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. <laughs> as far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. 
though I could have. Right. Well, I guess I suppose I could hear him out, right? Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. That's a long title. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. All right, then. By the way, that's her uh, DLC alternate outfit. In case uh, you hadn't seen it before. Filthy. It might have been the beginning, but then. But then. Uh, gonna say, why is it snowing? Right now! You know, the white hunt showing up is not the uh, most ideal situation. Wild hunt. I said white, but I meant wild. Thankfully, we had Yennefer, though. Magic certainly helps. The audience. The audience with whom? I don't like surprises. This tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Okay, so... I'm a little curious here. Never mind. Not curious at all. A little curious. But I'm just gonna let this happen. Look at him, he is so happy. He probably hasn't had a bath in months. Hmm. It must suffice. <laughs> this guy. Think Amir cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what? The what now? <laughs> In that chair. I am very glimmery right now. Kevin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Hmm. Something wrong with my beard? I mean, I do like the beard. It, it works well on him. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. <laughs> it does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. 
and sit still. How goes He's it? Not happy with Preparations that. Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? <laughs> no. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alva Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizier, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Uh, the Wild Hunt killed them. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about them. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more? Against the Weird grain? texture no. popping. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. <laughs> Still got crap on my neck, though. He didn't do a very good job. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. So I want to mention that that conversation with the uh, the general dude that came in, that is completely different when you simulate a Witcher 2 save. Um, it asks you about all of the stuff that happened in Witcher 2, which is cool because you can be like, no, I did this instead of this. And there's the responses from there. And it does affect a little bit of the game, but from what I could tell, not too much. That being said, if you don't simulate a save like we did, right, it doesn't have anything there. And it's um, it's what you just saw, which is cool that it changes it up a bit. I like that. Yeah. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. All right, well, which one looks better? Man, I'll tell you what, I'm sporting the, uh, the towel look really, really well here. I uh, actually kind of like the one on the right. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, uh, let's put it on. Goodbye, towel. Although, towel, best thing. All right, talk to him. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> a studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. Oh, you bastard. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh, I'm not a boar. I know how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. <laughs> that, sir is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner, not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's mess with him.
Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Wow, I actually did it first time. I thought I hit the wrong one. I thought it was right foot forward. That shows you how much I was actually listening to this douchebag. Okay, let's the see. The will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. <laughs> I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. A shame I have no Dude, this room is really pretty. This this whole area actually um it reminds me of a level in Dishonored where you're at a ball and you're sneaking around and everything like the architecture and everything it's really nice. Should I turn off motion blur? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. It's hard to tell how much it affects the videos. Like I watch the videos back and I go, eh, I mean, I guess it affects it a little bit." I like it when I'm playing with it, but I'll let, you, I'll let you guys decide if motion blur is worth it or not. But, uh, yep, you know, because of the way I record, it may not be off for a few episodes. Just throwing that out there. In Grimmy at Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Oh, this bastard does not know me. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> Man, his face texture is good. Heck, the clothing. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Okay. Two things. One, if you think the voice is familiar, it's because it is. That is the... If you've watched Game of Thrones, you know who it is. It's Tywin Lannister. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, you probably know who it is because the sucker is like 70-something and he's been in like everything. Uh, also, number two, Siri is his daughter, the, the, pretty much the king of Nilfgaard, right? His daughter is Siri. That's important to remember. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Right. Um. I guess I'll need mo information, not motivation? I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress.
Okay, so the gentleman not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Sucker. Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. What's that line from um from Lord of the Rings at the end of the third movie? Second movie? What? Third? Third movie. When uh, the king's daughter goes, I bow to no man, or I am no man. I am no man. That kind of thing, except I bow to no man, is what I was trying to say. This is, this is how my girl rolls. He bows to nobody. But what he does do is always get paid for a job and is a sucker for love. Look, we've established our rules. Man, how convenient. I get subtitles even though I don't understand their language. I like that. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. Well, let's go inside. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times, it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. Wow. This guy. Uh, oh my gosh. There's probably a ton of book loot. Oh, I'm not even going to bother. If, if it's all book loot... Honestly, I'm not going to read it. But... I would sell it. Ah, let's, let's... What the heck is that? I don't know, but it's rad. Okay, let's go in here. A shame I have...